Okay, we're going to be making some uh, blueprints to import into Maya. Uh, some pretty simple Photoshop, but I'll just go through it anyway. Alright, first of all, uh, we're in, make sure that we're in Photoshop. Uh, let's just have a look. View rulers, Control R. Alright, that just gives us our rulers. Now just line this all up, make sure that our dimensions are all the same. All right, uh, just going to be quite quick with that. All right, that looks all fine, and I'll just do the second one down here. All right, there we go. Now the next thing I want to do is make sure that my snap is on. So view. Yep, my my snap. I might have just look that off. View. Snap, turn it on. All right, and I'm just going to make a selection. And there I go, it should snap to my there. Now, very easy. Control C, Control N. Okay. Control V and next one is just Control Shift E and it is just flatten image or merge visible control shift E and just control shift S. Alright, control shift S. So you should be able to do this quite simply. Uh, make sure you're in your source images folder in your projects all right, and give that a, a name to remember. All right, so mig underscore front. All right, now I'm just going to save that as a uh, PNG. I don't know why, but I will. All right, there we go. All right, save. All right, okay. All right, so that shouldn't take that long. All right, now we can just do the second one. And have a look, make sure that my uh, plane is pointing down. But it works, um, you'll find that out when you go into Maya. All right, here we go, Control C, Control N, Control V, Control Shift E, Control Shift Alt S. There we go, oops, wrong one, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. PNG, save, that way in the wrong place here, um, desktop, where am I, here I am, Matt 3D, source images, alright, that was a long way to do it, mig underscore top. All right, there you go, save. Okay, now I'll go back to here. Now I'm just going to clear my guides and make a new one. View clear guides. <coughs> Sorry, I should go select, deselect, command D. All right, now I can just make a new one. I think I was there. And four. All right, there we go. M, and I can just go through that again. Control copy, new, V, save, PNG, MIG underscore side. All right, so I should have my um, files there. All okay. Now <coughs> I should be able to go into Maya. Maya is. Where's Maya gone? Where are we? Where is it? Who does that? Come on, Maya. Where's Maya gone? Where's my document? How oh, annoying. Uh, look, 
looks sorry about this, I'm just gonna close it and just reopen it. I'm not that great on the um, Max. Alright, so we're in Amaya now. And there we go. Okay. Now, please remember just check for your project folder, okay? Should all work nicely if you're in the right place. All right, now we're going to get into our four view. Let's do top first. All right, and here we go. We go view, image plane, import image. All right, there we go. And here we go, source images. Should have been there already. Made a little mistake. All right, enable best guess. All right, and we go to mig underscore top right, and there it is all right do the same down here view image plane import image that will be our front and view image plane import image side. Alright, there we go. You can see it there. Now it's not really uh, all the um, sizes are, well the sizes are wrong. So we just need to make them a little bit more accurate and also push them to the sides. Alright, so we just got to go up here, change this to our attributes, up here which is this button. Alright, now Let's start with this one up here. We go view, image plane, image plane attributes, image plane one. All right, <coughs> and here we go. So we've got to go um, in our placement extras, and we've got to put say this number down here, but with a decimal point. So here you go. I've got. 232, I'll change that to 23.2. Alright, and the height becomes 27.7. 27.7. Alright, so that should work. Now, the other thing I want to do is to push it down, and uh, the way, okay, it's the top, it's down here, X, Y, and Z. I want to go on the Y, I'll make that minus 15. All right, so you should see it's gone down. That's going to make it a bit easier. All right, so I'll do that on all of them. Image plane, image plane attributes. All right, make sure it's there. All right, 23.2, that becomes 23.2. Coverage. 9.7. Now this one here is on my Z plane, so I'm going to go minus so X, Y, Z, and go minus 15. Yep, <clears throat> there we go. It's gone to the back. It should be the right size. All right, the view, image plane, image plane attributes. All right, there we go. And again here, 27.1 and 9.5, 9.5, and which one was that one? That was on the Z, that's, a, that's on the X, all right, so I'll make that minus 20, yep, <coughs> there we go, all right. So they've all gone to the edges, but they all, um, they won't affect how it looks here. All right, so I'll stop this tutorial here. Um, oh, one last thing we may want to do. Um, we just may want to turn off the cameras on this one here. So we're just going to go show and cameras.
All right, so that'll hide the cameras, uh, but still keep them on the others. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll do the next part in, an, in another uh, video.